blessing to, to know. He, he was a great person and, you know, he's going to be very, very missed. An emotional day today as Deputy William Butler, who was shot and killed Thursday afternoon, was escorted to a funeral home in Hillsdale. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Riley Connell. Deanna has the night off. Hundreds lined the streets to honor the fallen officer. Some were longtime friends, while others felt Butler's loss without knowing him at all. I've known Billy for a long time. I mean, it's a small town. We all know each other. Um, many years ago, I catered his wedding. And then a few years ago, I catered his 10-year uh, anniversary. Loved ones, remembering time spent with William Butler, a Hillsdale County Sheriff's deputy who was shot and killed in the line of duty on Thursday. Still grieving the loss of his friend, Kevin Conant says he's putting his restaurant, Here's to You Pub and Grub, to good use. I'm trying to raise money to help out his wife and his family. Um, I'm trying to bring my community, who's been devastated by this, back and uh, something positive versus something negative. A full day of food sales donated to the Butler family to cover expenses. Hillsdale community members stopped in for a meal to do their part before lining the street for a procession honoring Butler's life. I just wanted the family to know that like they're not alone in this. This is not going to be something that's just going to be let go lightly. I didn't know Officer Butler personally, but I thank him for his service and I thank his family for um, giving their loved one for us. Led by local law enforcement, lights shining. Butler is carried through town to the funeral home. Watching nearby, a close friend of the family, Scott Sessions, who says the community is still in shock. It, it, it's a tragedy. I mean, and it hasn't, we haven't seen this in Hillsdale at all. Um, it's been 100 years since one of the deputies or anybody from the county has gotten, you know, killed. According to Michigan State Police, Deputy Butler was conducting a traffic stop on Thursday when he was killed. Police were trying to arrest Eric Fiddler, but Fiddler fought back. He then pulled out a handgun and began firing, hitting Butler. Deputies returned fire and Fiddler ran. Fiddler was eventually found and killed by officers. Michigan State Police are still investigating Butler's death.